What is up guys? Welcome on Dr. TK's Garage and in today's video I'm checking out a different type of auction. We got repos, we got cars that were towed, we got all kinds of crazy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get into looking at some of the different things and see if there's anything I want. <music> guys so we are out here today at a place called the tow truck company so they have uh auctions that are open to the general public you can look at the different vehicles and stuff they have for sale like this nissan maxima here and um very very let's see here 100 bucks where it starts at Starts and drives, auto trans, and it is a lean sale. All right. Whew. Looks fairly clean. The interior is not completely destroyed. Uh, she looks pretty good. Huh. We'll have to see how... Uh, how these things come up for auction and if you're watching later this week we'll be here for the live auction uh to actually bid on some of these cars all right guys the so next we have this 2002 jeep liberty starting at 100 bucks runs and drives it says no catalytic converter which means someone's probably already cut this off fender looks a little janky looks like it's being held up by clothes hangers okay i haven't seen that before 188,000 miles. I like that they put the mileage on the outside of it. Interior. Looks like they had aftermarket switches for lights. It's a little dogged out, but it'd be a good little, you know, beater. You know, when the auction starts at 100 bucks, you can't really complain. This is not really bad for what you could possibly do with it. So, I don't see any major damage. Anything crazy. Huh. I mean, you're missing some of the plastic fender stuff, but I mean, if this is just like a beater, there's something you're going to run into the ground. Not bad. And a Jeep Liberty, they're not known for being great, reliable vehicles. So it is what it is, right? All right. And the next one I'm going to show you, there's a couple other ones that are here. But I'm just really looking at the ones that I'm really interested in. We got a 2010 Chevy Malibu. I believe this was the year that they became the North American car of the year. 2010 Chevy Malibu, 141,000 miles. Bidding starts at 100 bucks. Okay. Not bad. She looks fairly clean. Looks fairly clean here. It's the LTZ. So this is the top of the line model of this car. Now, she definitely is older, right? You figure it's at least 13 years old at this point, but very nice leather interior. Okay, you got the heated seat button here. This thing looks pretty nice. It's in decent con decent condition. Guessing it got towed and nobody was able to get to it in time before they filed a lien on it. Car like this, you, you know, I, I wouldn't even say you, you do the Mako paint job on it. But if you wanted to, you could. All right, we just had our first overheating. Good thing I've kept, I'm keeping ice packs and stuff with me now to be able to keep the camera cool. Um, so you could paint it, but I think I would just buff it and clear coat it. And it would look perfectly fine, I think, at that point. This thing right here could be uh, an actual steel. I'm guessing somewhere between 600 to 800 is probably where this is going to sell. And for a clean titled Chevy, something like this, this would be a perfect car to throw on Toro and literally just run it into the ground. I mean, it would pay for itself in probably a month. So, all right, let's check out, check out one more we have on the list and then we'll get into another video maybe soon. All right, next we have a Hyundai, but this is not any Hyundai. Everybody thinks that you go to a public auction and everything is ragtag, 
busted down cars, but this one is actually not. This is a Honda. It's got the blue drive. It's a it is a electric and gas, so it's an, a plug-in hybrid. All right. It only has twenty three thousand six fifty five. If you wanted to start a car for a Toro business, this probably would be it, right? It is a Sonata hybrid plug-in. You don't really get many vehicles like this this thing the paint looks good there's no dents there's no damage this thing looks exceptionally clean for what it is leather seats or pleather seats however you want to say it all right very 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 clean run and drive and the starting bid on this car is a hundred bucks this one right here, I think, is going to be the steal of the show. Now, I'm not stupid. I know there's going to be dealers here. Other people are going to try to focus on this. But I think even if I was able to snatch this car up at like $4,500, it'd probably be worth it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below because I think this one right here could be a steal of a deal. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me and this live auction walk around. Stay tuned. There will be a video where we are actually out here actively bidding on these cars. If you're interested in this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to try to buy one of these cars, maybe you can't be here present. You guys do know I do offer those broker services, and I could help you bid on anything that we have that is out here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys very soon on the next one.